Hey everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today with me I have Eileen Bild. Eileen is founder of the Core Thinking Blueprint Method, executive producer and Roku channel developer. She has a master's in transpersonal psychology, and she's certified. She is a certified breakthrough coach. Uh, Eileen specializes in re-engineering thinking, branding, and video productions. She's also a published author, internationally syndicated columnist, and creative artist. Eileen, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Michael. I'm excited to be here. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Let's go ahead and dive right into question number one. Eileen, why did you become a coach? You know, all my life, people have opened up their, their most deepest, darkest, uh, secrets and ideas and thoughts. And so just over time, as I became an adult, I realized I have a gift to be able to hold space for people and uh, to spark them. So uh, I realized uh, being a coach is more than just coaching, that mm-hmm. it's helping people to, to find out who they are, to really get a good idea of why are they here and what is their purpose what is their their vision and their passion Mm -hmm. so uh along the way you know i developed all these different skills and then i decided to uh put it into what i call myself as a uh, breakthrough sport coach love it i love it i love it uh, moving on right on to question number two. What are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? Well, you know, I thought about this question because um, coaches generally think of coaching as sitting one-on-one or group coaching. You've got a process, a procedure. But mm-hmm. what I'm realizing as I uh, work on my own space of becoming a better version of myself Mm-hmm. That coaching can be, um, uh, it can uh, transform into mm-hmm. something bigger and mm-hmm. something that you may not even be aware of that includes coaching. And so for me, what I'm doing right now that's unique was a pivot that occurred during COVID. Mm-hmm. And it has to do with the Roku, executive producer Roku channel development. Mm-hmm. And what I'm finding is as I talk with clients to create their own Roku channel, Mm -hmm. I'm actually coaching and consulting them and I'm bridging it with branding. So, so, you know, the coaching has taken a different form that I would not have considered myself coaching in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Little uh, kind of following the the organic change of of what you're doing. I like that kind of absolutely becomes its own thing. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Question number three, Eileen, where do you find your clients? You know, um, my clients have all, and you used the word organic, my clients have all organically come to me through word Mm -hmm. of mouth, through networking, through uh, relationships. I'm very Mm -hmm. big and um, uh, I strongly believe in relationship building because mm-hmm. it builds trust and confidence and people want to know that the person they're working with has integrity. Mm-hmm. And uh, so most of my clients, if not all, come through a channel of one way or another where it's, uh, I approach them in a way that I build a relationship mm-hmm. or they approach me to, uh, to take our relationship to another level. Yeah. Great, great, good stuff. Question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? You know, when I get asked asked that question, um, I like to answer it as, I don't see things as challenges because I'm always in growth mode and I see growth Mm -hmm. as opportunity. Mm -hmm. So to look at something as a challenge to me is a negative. And I always answer that question by saying, I look at what's working, what's not working and I strengthen what's working and I replace what's not working with something that's going to enhance and improve what is working. So Mm -hmm. it keeps me in line and keeps me in balance with what I'm trying to achieve or wanting to to, um, create and make happen. That's great. Yeah, that's 
Classic, uh, classic Peter Drucker consulting there. Focus on your strengths. <laughs> yes. yes, absolutely. And then why not, right? I mean, yeah. it doesn't feel good to look at what's not your strength or what you don't feel comfortable doing. And I am the type of person that I would try something. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't work, then I say, okay, that's not my forte and that's not for me. I'll hand it off to somebody else. And I stick to what I enjoy and what I can do uh, so that, that it can be as um, enjoyable and as yeah. functional and productive and successful as it can be. Yeah, that's great. Good stuff. Moving on to question number five. If you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would that be? Great question. So a do-over probably would have uh, gotten into coaching a lot earlier when Coach U came across my desk like 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might have been that long. I don't know, but it was a long time ago. And it was, I pinned <laughs> it on my bulletin board and I was raising kids at the time and I would look at it, you know, quite often and mm -hmm. and I just never took the plunge to to take their program and become a certified coach. So I think if I did if I had a do over, it would be to, to certify myself a lot sooner mm -hmm. and possibly uh, delve into more coaching um, training uh, earlier on. However, I feel now um, you know I've, I've got a good handle on it and Mm -hmm. uh, I, I made up for all that lost time. <laughs> yeah, great. Good stuff. And now finally, our bonus question. What is one book that you would recommend all your clients read? Oh, gosh. There's so many out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, one question that we don't send to our guests ahead of time. I know, I know. <laughs> um, Think and Grow Rich, probably. It's yeah. just a really good book. I mean, there's many others, many others, but that one, you know, I'm all about core thinking. I'm mm -hmm. all about how we uh, perceive and think about life, ourselves, where we are, how we fit into our experiences. And mm -hmm. if you really want, and, and when, when I think of the book, Think and Grow Rich, it's not so much about the money, that's mm -hmm. part of it, but the way we think and the way we perceive can give us a lot of riches in life, relationships, mm -hmm. um, business success, the financial success. Mm -hmm. And um, when you read that book, you can use the concept of Think and Grow Rich uh, to build a strong foundation from which to operate from. Sure. Yeah. I love it. Great answer. Great answer. You're um, I mean, is there anything else that you would like to add or, or promote um, before we close out? And also, if you could please let us know where our listeners can connect with you online. Yes, sir. Uh, can I add anything? You know, just um, if, if you're listening and, and well, obviously you'll be listening, but if you're an <laughs> entrepreneur, small business, medium sized business, and, and you're looking to like go to the next step or grow yourself or overcome something don't give up never stop and um you know always know that there's someone else that's been there done that and don't mm -hmm. be afraid to ask so um you know it, it's each individual person has a unique gift to give to the world and don't give up on yours so where can people find me um i have i'm going to give two different websites one is for my coaching which is corethinkingblueprint.com mm -hmm. and the other one is hoteluniverse.com and that's all about the hotel universe platform uh, that revolves around uh, video productions and the web channel development and other services that we offer awesome eileen build thank you so much for joining us on the coffee with coaches podcast you're welcome and thank you for having me michael i enjoyed it thank Have you and thank you to our Thank you to our listeners for joining us as well, and we'll see you all next time.